Robert Mueller makes a rare appearance and delivers some extraordinary remarks about the Russia investigation. It is Mueller's first public statement since he was appointed special counsel. KK9 political reporter Dave Bryan joins us now with more on Mueller's speech at the Justice Department that occurred earlier today. That's right. Very important comments, but also still enough room for each side to have a different version of what it means. The centerpiece of special counsel Robert Mueller's statement Wednesday was his declaration that if he had strong evidence that President Trump did not break the law, he would have said so. He didn't, and he seemed to be suggesting that the proper place to get to the bottom of this issue would be Congress, which the House Democrats have been pushing for. For the first and perhaps the last time, special counsel Robert Mueller spoke out to set the record straight on some important issues about the Russia investigation. Chief among those issues, the lingering doubts about whether the probe was obstructed by President Trump or those around him. If we had had confidence that the president clearly did not commit a crime, we would have said so. We did not, however, make a determination as to whether the president did commit a crime. Mueller also noted that charging a sitting president with a criminal offense would violate Justice Department policy. Instead, he said there's another way to raise such an issue, second, impeachment the proceedings. The Constitution requires a process other than the criminal justice system to formally accuse a sitting president of wrongdoing. The only way that you can, you can hold a president accountable are through what is said in the Constitution, which is that it is up to Congress. Mueller implied that other process could mean Congress impeaching the president. President Trump reacted on Twitter, declaring victory again, saying there was insufficient evidence and therefore in our country a person is innocent. The case is closed. We think the president has been fully and completely exonerated. But Democrats don't agree, and in some quarters, impeachment is now back in the discussion about what to do next. Many constituents want to impeach the president, but we want to do what is right and what gets results. I think uh, Mueller was more than capable of asserting that uh, if that's the conclusion he had reached, that uh, the president should be impeached. But no, he said this is now in the hands of Congress. But South L.A. Congresswoman Maxine Waters, a leader of the progressive wing of the party, believes this is all about impeachment. She tweeted, enough is enough. It's time to impeach Trump. Now, Burbank Congressman Adam Schiff, who we just saw on that report, also took aim at Attorney General William Barr, whom he accused of deliberately and repeatedly misleading the American people about some legal opinions in the case. Schiff charged that Mueller's comments, uh, that should be, I'm sorry, it's not Mueller that we're talking about here, uh, that the comments that we're talking about are a direct re rebuke. These would be William Barr's comments of the Attorney General's misleading statements. Jeff, back to you. Dave,